under lower GI bleeding, uh, this may be uh, frank bleeding or uh, occult bleeding, depending on the cause. Uh, so the common causes are uh, hemorrhoids, anal fistulas and fissures, uh, tumors. This can be benign or malignant. So for the benign can be polyps, uh, lelomyoma or uh, fibromasses. Infections also can cause, which can be caused by bacterial and protozoa and parasites. For the bacteria, you have uh, Shigella, Confilobacter, and Salmonella. For the protozoa, we have Omobiasis. Uh, for the parasites, we have uh, Schistosomiasis. Trauma can also cause this, uh, Angiodysplasia. Also, inflammatory bowel disease, that is uh, Crohn's disease and uh, ulcerative colitis. We also have uh, diverticular disease and uh, bleeding disorders can cause this. For the investigations, we have to do an hemorrhage and an ESR, stools for microscopy, CNS, uh, doable contract barium enemas, and uh, protoscopy, sigmoidoscopy, colonoscopy, and biopsy can be done to rule out the cause. And uh, coagulation screening is also very important to see, to be able to make a clear diagnosis. So for management of this condition, it is based on uh, you're supposed to cross-match if necessary. And the main reason for you to be able to handle this condition, you have to treat the primary cause. We do this by making a clear diagnosis by how the presentations are going to be and the investigations done as above. So no physical examination is complete without doing a rectal examination in this condition.